Michelle C. Smith. Is that Michelle Pfeiffer's like real name or something? Good God. Good God above. Oh my God. That's impressive, Michelle, wherever you may be. Wow. That's actress Daisy Ridley, of course, from the Star Wars movies, and she's dazzled by Hollywood's leading stuntwoman, Michelle C. Smith, also known as the Queen of the Lightsabers. Smith has been in some of the biggest superhero films and the television series, including Deadpool, and people are getting to know her work now through a huge following on social media. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. This is exciting. Oh, it's exciting for us to have you. So I might, I'm reading your bio. It looks like... Um, in addition to being a great stunt woman, you, a lot of your spinning skills came from baton twirling early on, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I was a very competitive baton twirler when I was a child. I competed all the way up to an international level. I went to the world championships and won medals and oh, stuff. Oh, wow. And somehow, just following the breadcrumbs of my life and my career, I've ended up here in do, movies doing stunts. <laughs> do you have lightsabers in your living room? What are those poles behind you? Are those uh, batons? Oh, those, are, those are, well, I have lightsabers here. Of course oh. I do. Um, but those are all my stabs and sticks, and there are some <laughs> lightsabers in there. And I, they're, they're just very pretty. They're aesthetic. They sparkle, ah. so I like them. So you teach people how to do stunts, or what is it you try and teach them? Because obviously, if you're training with the baton from the time you're a little kid, there's some things that can't be taught in that amount of time, right? Well, you know, you learn a bit slower when you're a kid. Yeah. Uh, but I do train people with stabs. That's the main thing that I teach, and, and weapons in general, but also just movement. I've been a, a mover and an athlete and a dancer my whole life, so I really like sharing my passion for movement with people. But my main deal, my like online membership academy is the Freestyle Staff Academy. And we learn staff spinning from a very basic level. I try to make it as accessible and fun and easy to learn as possible. And trust me, you would be able to learn some really cool tricks. And you can apply any of that to a lightsaber because it's kind of the same thing. Uh, just with a light on the end. Well, that is really cool, this video we're seeing right here. We wow. commented on the air the other day, <laughs> there should be like an award for best stunt person in a movie. Is there such a thing? It, not in the regular awards, like the Oscars. There's right. no stunt category, which is really, really unfortunate. But there are other award shows that have some stunt ensemble awards. And then the... World Tourist Stunt Awards or an award specifically for stunts, but they're only available for feature films. So any of the work that we do on television shows doesn't count hmm. for those awards. We're not eligible. So how did your social media following grow so much? Or is it just showing videos like we're seeing or are you teaching people on social media how to do things? It's a little bit of both, actually. I actually started really focusing on my social media around 2015 when I was actually working on Deadpool. And it was just at first me doing fun little videos of doing flashy tricks. And then I started making tutorials and that started a whole thing. And that's really what brought people in was sharing the skills and making it accessible, like I said, to other people. And then slowly over time with a lot of consistency and a lot of hard work, <laughs> my social media has become something that uh, is a lot of fun to play with and engage with people in. So tell us about the uh, new Star Wars fan film, uh, Vengeance of Asajj, am I saying that right? Yes, All The right. Vengeance of the Saj Ventress. Yeah, we, a, a group of friends of mine, uh, other film professionals, we got together and we produced and created this little short film based on the character of Asaj Ventress, who is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. She's so cool. She's dark and she's twisted, but she's this person who's just looking for her place in the universe. And I'd been looking to find a character in the Star Wars universe for me to just play with and, and see what I could do. And she's got two sabers, which I love. And so we just put something together and it came together so easily and so well on the day. And we just released it on May 4th. And I'm really, really proud of it. I'm really, really grateful and proud of the entire team of people working on it. It's just, it's, it feels good. Well, the new Star Wars fan film is called The Vengeance of Asajj. Uh, and did I say that right again? Yeah. You the Vengeance of Ventress. Okay, thank you. You can get more on Michelle's website, 
and she's got all the information there on social media as well. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. You too. Yeah.